What's up besties? Let me tell you the best kept money secret I know you've never heard of. The series iBond. As your rich BFF and your favorite Wall Street girly, I'm gonna go over the key details, explain what it can do for you, and show you how to invest in them. Please like, comment, and subscribe to learn more about being good with your money. Let's get to it. So how exactly do I-bonds work? You're essentially loaning the US government money. A Series I savings bond is a virtually risk-free investment backed by the US government that has tax benefits and is currently offering more than a 9.62% annualized return, right now being September of 2022. I-bonds offer a guarantee from the US government that you can recover your original capital, aka your original investment, plus any increases in the official cost of living. They're also exempt from state and local income tax. So why should I buy these? Aside from them being nearly risk-free and offering tax benefits, they're returning way more than your standard savings account or even a high yield savings account right now. And listen, your emergency fund should be sitting in a savings account, but I wouldn't recommend keeping any additional dollars over three to six months of living expenses there because you're essentially losing money. The cash in a standard bank account is making you about 0.06% every single year in interest. And high yield savings accounts are offering about 2%. Inflation is at eight to 9%. That means the money in your bank account is in fact losing you money. I-bonds are a great tool if you're risk averse and have some extra cash sitting around or if you're a big risk taker because it'll help safeguard some of your assets while the rest of your dollars are in riskier investments. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You always tell us that if something feels too good to be true, it's probably a scam. Is this a scam? I promise it's not a scam, but there are some features you should understand. The interest rate on these bonds changes every six months based on inflation, CPI results. The minimum purchase is $25 and the maximum annual purchase is $10,000. I-bonds can be held for as little as one year or as long as 30 years. But if they're sold after fewer than five years, the holder forfeits the last three months worth of interest. Okay, if they're so great, why haven't I heard of these before? You've never heard of them because financial advisors, banks, and personal finance companies aren't incentivized to sell them to you. They don't get paid a commission for this. The US government sells these directly via a kind of crappy website that looks like it was built in the 90s. Speaking of which, what's the website and how do I invest in some of these? Come on, I'll walk you through it. You'll go to treasurydirect.gov. Yes, I know that it looks like it was designed by an intern, and yes, it's giving 2000s MySpace vibes, but it's actually a legit website. You'll hit account login, open a new account, you're an individual, and hit apply now, and then you'll fill out your key info and choose a password and security question. Once you have an account, you're gonna go to the Buy Direct tab and choose Series I. Then you'll be prompted to fill out how much you'd like to buy. And like I mentioned, the minimum is $25 and the maximum you can purchase per year is $10,000. Then you'll purchase your I-bonds straight from the US government. These bonds can't be resold or traded on the secondary market, so make sure if you're ever buying or selling these, you only do this at treasurydirect.gov. Okay, last question. Do you think the rate will stay at 9.62%? That seems pretty high. Transparently, maybe, maybe not. The rate's going to track inflation, and inflation has come down a tidge since May when the 9.62% rate was announced. But the student loan forgiveness plan was also recently announced, and that may have an impact. The next rate announcement for I-bonds will be in November of 2022, and while I don't have a crystal ball, my guess is that the rate will stay generally within a percent or two of the current rate, and I don't foresee it dramatically dropping or increasing. Good luck and happy investing.